So, yeah, there's still time for before we start our session. Uh, so I'll just share uh, the QR code for now. Uh, so and we'll start at 8:30. As well. Bogus yet. Tak dia mau kongsi kan saya.
Cannot scan. Uh, do you uh, still having problem uh, scanning the QR code? Okay, so let me see. Okay, can scan, but it's like a noise. I also cannot scan. Now, can you scan? Muhammad Shukri apa sebagai yang cakap tak dapat scan ni not scan who's this uh, Haida why why can't you scan this is a, uh, apa that, that's my uh, QR code in full or not full is, it, is there anything blocking my QR code Ah, okay. You, you must know he's having a problem. Okay. So it's okay. It's okay. Uh, just uh, uh, for those who is not able to uh, scan for now, uh, it's okay. Uh, I will uh, put uh, uh, use a manual attendance later on. Just uh, drop your names. Uh, drop your names in the in my my email later on. Okay. Uh, so that I will uh, be able to put your names there as uh, you attended the class, lah. Okay. I think blocking it. Okay. So if the if the problem is with Unimas now, uh, I cannot do anything about it. I'm really sorry. <laughs> Okay, what is okay. that? Okay, two number, guys. Number, number, what? Matrix, matrix number. Is the matrix number? I'm, I'm, uh, looking at the chat now. Huh? Okay, so um, total present is sixty four. Sixty four. And looking at participants, okay, we have now around seventy eight, seventy nine. Seventy nine participants. Okay, that, that's about right. Uh, the, how how many do we have in our class? <laughs> I don't remember. It's been a while. Okay, attendance is uh, around seventy, so around nine percent. Nine nine percent cannot. Uh, uh, around nine percent still cannot uh, log in. Kaya ada orang pakai nombor telefon ni, kaya. Eh, pa pa pakai apa? Uh, yeah, on your phone with uh, using Webex on your phone. No, right? Anybody using a laptop or anybody using a phone? Ah, itulah kalau dah pakai phone macam mana scan lah? <laughs> macam mana scan QR code? Ada kena pakai phone lain lah. Okay, okay, so okay, yeah. So that's why I say whoever is on their phone. Uh, so whoever is on their phone, uh, please uh, kindly uh, drop your uh, name and matrix number later on, okay. uh, so that uh, uh, I can do manual. Okay. And for those who are not speaking, please uh, mute your mute your uh, uh, mic. Okay. Please mute your mic. Uh, I think there's an option over there. So that you can mute your mic so that you will, will not be interfering with the session. Thank you very much. And ah, uh, okay. So looking at the screen now, so everybody is muted. Tolak beberapa orang yang tak mute. Sofiani, tak. Okay, you want to, you want to say something, Sofiani? <laughs> no. Muhammad Shukri want to say something? <laughs> Ex 
Uh, okay, so I'll give this a bit more. Okay. Uh, okay, just tell me if uh, you're ready to move on. Huh? Ready to move on uh, from this one? Okay. Can scan, sha. Okay. Taba. Drop this. Drop your names there. I will uh, do the manual attendance later on. Okay. It's been five minutes. Uh, so first of all, uh, yeah. Let's do that again. Uh, Assalamualaikum and a very good morning uh, to all of you uh, who are here and. Uh, so it's been a while, huh? So it's been a while since uh, uh, the last time uh, we are having this class, <laughs> and um, between that time, a lot of things happen. Okay, uh, with the pandemic and everything, I re uh, first of all, I'm really sorry for me for making the what do you call that the corona joke, <laughs> the corona joke during our class. Okay, I didn't think that it's uh, it was gonna be yeah kind of bad, right? For I don't know. Yeah, it's up to you whether you want to call it as bad <laughs> or uh, fortunate or not. Uh, I know some of you or many of you are enjoying your time. Okay, it was enjoyed your time at home. Yeah, me too. I enjoyed a lot of my time at home. Okay, in these three months, almost yeah, three months. Yeah, we have. Uh, but now, okay, uh, it's time to resume the semester. It's time to resume the semester. We need to start again with the classes. Although with the, this new norm, okay, new normal, that uh, we cannot uh, organize uh, what we call it an, a formal class. But still, this is considered as a formal class. I think. Okay, now they are considering this as a formal class too. Uh, and welcome back. Yeah, welcome back. Uh, so hopefully uh, a lot more, a lot more will join us uh, after this, or maybe in the next one. Okay, that's why because this is uh, like a test run. Uh. This is like a test run for us. This is the first class of uh, using this method. And to be honest, this is my first time too organizing this kind of meeting. Okay, I've been using this uh, app, uh, the WebEx, uh, uh, on and off during uh, the pandemic time because uh, although we are, we work from home, we are still uh, required to attend uh, seminars, okay, workshops, meetings, all using this. So uh, for uh, in terms of hosting, this is my first time. So hopefully, yeah, I can learn or yeah, all of us can learn while <laughs> yeah, while going through this. Okay, so shall I move on to the uh, to the content, or or maybe we'll just talk first. Okay, talk first. Okay, before uh, moving on to the content. Okay, so okay, I got some messages. Okay, just please tell me eh, if you cannot hear uh, if 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 you cannot hear me clearly. Okay, so that uh, I can maybe I can talk better. <laughs> okay, can set the mic and everything better. Okay, just uh, anything, just drop it in the chat. Yeah, um, I'm also reading the chat right now. Okay, okay I can set this up better, hopefully, so that everybody can hear me. So, uh, before we start, so I've also received a me uh, me some uh, messages uh, about some of the or some of you who have to attend uh, another online class on at uh, 10 o'clock, right? Bahasa ka apa something. Uh, and may I ask why, 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 why it's why is it clashing with our timetable? It's not that I'm mad or anything, but just that we are um, required uh, to follow the existing timetable. So based on the timetable, I should be on the timetable from eight to eleven, right? So why is there uh, some other subjects there <laughs> occupying my space? Oh, eight to ten. Ah, okay, nice. Eight to ten. I forgot. I think I thought it was eight to eleven. Okay, nice. Okay, so nobody is occupying. <laughs> okay, occupying. Sir, uh, anybody is comfortable? Ah, really sorry. Why do I think that this one is, is this should be going at yeah longer? <laughs> yeah, this three months staying at home has yeah uh, messed up with my sense of time. 
maybe. <laughs> okay, yeah. So you know, eight to ten, ah. So eight to ten uh, is for the why I put it, uh, even in the timetable in the program our attendance. I put the eight thirty to eleven, ah. I'm really sorry. I'm going. I will change that later on. Uh, so I don't put this. Uh, I don't think the the problem is uh, with my connection because my connection is excellent. My connection is excellent, and then I I also heard some uh some comment uh, some comment uh with uh, Webex, uh because uh I heard that it's uh requ it requires a uh, high bandwidth, quite a high bandwidth. So you gotta have a very good connection for this to work. So some maybe somebody yeah with a low internet connection might have a little bit of problem using this. It's not that I decide to use this uh, on my own, but this is the app that uh, this is the app that uh, Unimas paid. Okay, Unimas has already paid for this, so that uh, yeah all of us can use this. Okay, uh, this is something that Unimas has paid, so we can use this uh, like unlimited lah. So I have heard about uh, somebody is uh, prefer to use Zoom. Yeah, I know. Many heard about Zoom, right? Yeah. So that one, uh, you have to pay, or okay. Uh, who, who want to understand something? Uh, something is Shah. What do you want to write? You want? Oh, you want to write that? Uh? <laughs> What do you want to write on my screen? No. Nanti nanti dulu. Kemudian lah. Okay. So uh, for but for Zoom, okay, that one is lim uh, the free version is limited to uh, 40 minutes. <laughs> okay, that one is limited to 40 minutes. Uh, so uh, after 40 minutes, then uh, it will be disconnected, and I need to open a new session. Uh, so that will be a bit of a inconvenience if uh, we are going to use that for a class like this, right? Because we, our class should last more than 40 minutes. So that's why I think I will stick with this. You are not required to uh, register for any account, right? Okay, you're not registered to. Uh, no, not, uh, not not. It's not that you are not allowed. Okay, you are not required. Okay, to be an audience, you are not required to. Uh, uh, for any account uh, to register for an account okay so this is like you are sharing with my uh, private room here so yeah so far my experience with it is good i hope everybody yeah uh but yeah if you have uh, any suggestions uh, any suggestions for a uh, good one uh, alternative apps for this yeah let, please do let me know yeah do let me know about it uh and one more thing, eh? Okay, one more thing. Okay, I think this one, uh, enough with that. Okay, another thing is for Elip. Okay, for Elip. As of right now, uh, we are, uh, what do you call that, um, separated, right? In uh, Into groups. Okay. Elip. Tengok tulis sikit, Elip. Oh, seronok juga dapat tulis macam ni, eh? Okay, so... Uh, on Elip now, uh, so we have a um, group separated right now. So I think that one uh, I need to uh, send the link to Dr. David and then send the link to Dr. Yanwa. Okay, if I want to organize the class like this. So what we did was uh, what we did. Uh, we already contacted the Elip uh, administrator. So we asked for them to um, open a new page so that. Uh, new page with everybody okay everybody in the group okay so okay let's move on from the qr code i will go back there later on so let's go to elip right now okay because i just uh, received an email huh? receive an email that they already open they already open uh, a new uh, page for this class. Eh, mana saya punya ni? Login ni. Eh, so they open a new. Okay, so saya stop sharing sekejap because I need to open that one. Mana pergi dia? This one, Elip. Okay. Uh, sign in. Uh, so I will need if the page is already up. I will need everybody, eh? not uh, 
regardless of groups, okay, PKEE 1 and PKEE 6, all to, uh, what do you call that, uh, enroll in this new elite page so that I can have this page and share all um, the information there and everybody will have will have uh, the, what you call the same information. Okay, so this one. Okay, I have this one, PKEE 126. This one, yeah, yeah, yeah. This one. Uh, okay, let's uh, let's go to here again. Sorry, and uh, I will share another uh, share my screen again. Eh? Uh, okay, so everybody can see this page. Uh, please let me know. Boleh nampak? Boleh nampak? Boleh, boleh, boleh. This is the uh, KNR 2153. Although there's ini PKE 1, but here they tulis ini PKE 126. I think this is the new page that is recently opened by the administrator. So this one. So uh, please enroll yourself here. Okay. Please enroll yourself here so that uh, we can start to use that, just this one page from now on. Okay? So I don't know how you have been, uh, what do you call that, enrolling in ELIP so far. But yeah, just uh, this one, KNR 2153. I think this one is the, uh, this is the class, uh, 2153, PKE 126. And... Uh, Participants here right now we have uh, around 51. Okay, 51 participants. I think there should be more, right? There should be more of you. So please, uh, for those who are here, uh, please, uh, one, uh, what do you call that? Enroll to this class. And for those who are not here, your friends who are not here, please tell them. Uh, please let them know that yeah, to enroll in this one. Okay. And so this will be our new lah, new page from now on. Yeah, I will distribute the timetable, our online session, and our notes here. Okay, from now on. Okay, so uh, hopefully everybody uh, will have uh, an access. I uh, will uh, get an access here and enroll yourself here. Okay. So let's stop this for a while. Okay, yeah, I think that one. Okay, so what do you think? What do you think about the, uh, this uh, online style class? So, ni apa ni? Sir, ka, apa ni? Ka KLU tu apa? EMT, kalau. Ke, kalau, kalau lah. Saya, ini bahasa internet lingo ni saya tak faham. KLU, EMT sediakan banyak example exercise pun okay. Oh, okay. Uh, so, so, kami boleh refer to example and try to understand using the example but must have step or solution to answer this. Okay, so thank you for this uh, suggestion. So, actually, I also am uh, thinking about doing our class like that right now because this is uh, a sudden change right this is a, a sudden change in pay, uh, our pace the sudden change our style i am not expecting you all the students or even us lecturers uh, to be accustomed to this straight away okay this is all new to us okay although uh, the the initiative was there before but the, this method of uh, delivery was never what you call it, acknowledged as one of the formal ones. This was usually we only this were only considered as a, what you call that um, uh, supplementary, okay, supplementary method, supplementary way on delivery, but never about being the main like what we are doing right now, right? So it's kind of unfair to. Uh, uh, it's kind of unfair to you know just expect everybody to be happy with it, okay, be happy with it, be suitable with it, and you know, okay, just I cannot just say deal with it, okay, this is a new norm now, okay, it's not, uh, it's not the way, uh, that I think I want to proceed with this one, 
Okay, but now this is the best that we have. This is the best uh, option that we have right now, and the only option actually. So yeah, as for the suggestions, I was also thinking the same. Okay, maybe the uh, this is, and this is not the only lecture that you are going to have online. Okay, now you don't have uh, the chance to what do you call that, go to a normal class anymore. Okay, you have no chance to go to a normal class anymore. All classes are now online. Okay, that understandably put a lot of pressure, a, lo a lot of what do you call that, uh, stress eh, on you to understand everything. Okay, at least before this, you have uh, access to classes, you have access to the lecturers. Okay, when you you have a chance to understand things during classes, right? Okay, so that you can yeah really divide your time in order to focus on things that you uh apparent thing thing that is hard to understand okay so for those that the things that are the things that think you easier for you to understand okay it's up uh, it's okay for you but now everything is online okay everything is online the stress is yeah real okay i understand that so that's why for this class i think i don't know maybe this is just between us or yeah just between us i am yeah indeed planning on focusing on the assessment because yeah in the end of the day, that is what you are look. Uh, that is what you are after, right? <laughs> the assessments, and so the assessments have been um, uh, distributed uh, to the uh, to the moderators. It's uh, now in the process of being moderation uh, moderated. So I can I cannot uh, 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 the what they call it, the the assessment the uh, the assignment two at least assignment one already passed right the one is okay okay assignment two uh, test two and uh, final exam are now still in the process of being uh, moderated the questions are not final yet so yeah for as for now I uh, cannot uh, stress out on that just yet okay because even if I do that now then if the if the moderators think that the question Questions are not suitable, so we need to change. Okay, so that's why. That's all right now. Okay, just keep in mind that yes, I know your con I know your concern. Uh, all of your concern is uh, on the moderate on the what do you call it assessments. Yes, I know your concern, and I will be addressing that. Okay, I will be addressing that. And uh, and no, I'm not planning to put more uh, a lot more assignments. Okay, as uh, as opposed to what we originally planned, it will still be like that. I will not impose more assignments, more things for you to do just because yeah, uh, you cannot meet like that. Meet in person, right? So for those yang ada yang comment, Hadija, comment for makin banyak assignment from that one days. I have no comment for that. <laughs> I have no comment for that because yeah. Uh, that is what the other lecturers are uh, uh, they decided to do and that's out of my out of my what do you call that out of my jurisdiction again as for this class yeah don't worry too much about it yes i will i will be focusing on assessments um as we go okay so as we go, uh, this one, uh, please, uh, for the young quiz and assessment at the market, because we are under pressure, actually. We are under pressure, some of, the, some of us, uh, most of us, okay, especially in engineering, we are under pressure from the EAC. Okay, because before this, they, they emphasize on delivery and everything, classes, right? Okay, so uh, and then now everything is online, no classes, no lab session, everything. So they want to see things being done you know more rigidly uh, more rigidly that's why a lot of actually are being pressured to you know give you quizzes give you more assignments so that they can justify your markings later on okay? so tadi siapa asus nama letak asus ya asus angkat tangan tadi raise your hand why yeah you are allowed to speak if you want Siapa tadi? Asus, angkat tangan. Raise your hand tadi. Siapa yang raise your hand tadi? <laughs> so, just for this, uh, for uh, every quiz assignment yang ada maka, yeah, just bear with it. This is, uh, I'm really sorry, I have to say that because everybody is new to this. Okay, We don't know the best way on how to do this. Okay? But 
we want to ensure that you still learn. Okay, you still are learning. You still are. You still gain something even though you don't attend classes. So just to make sure, just make to make sure that everybody uh, th that you do your job. Okay, you do your learning. You do your assignments. So that's why they they enforce the new quizzes and assignments with marks now. Yeah, that's why I I can understand. But as for me, uh, ada assignment tapi jangan susah sangat. <laughs> like, 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 don't worry, don't worry. Don't worry too much about that. Uh, I, yeah, I know. I, I understand the concern. Don't worry. Uh, I already told you. Okay, we, we, we will. Okay, go to that later on. Okay, later on. As the, when, I will tell you once, uh, when the class, when the, uh, what do you call that? The questions, uh, when the when the questions are finalized later on, yeah, don't worry. I, it's not that I'm going to share the exact questions, right, or test no, but yeah, something leading to that, okay, something leading to that, so that you will not be uh, feel left behind. And as for today's session, okay, it's uh, I think it's 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 recorded. It is being recorded, so yeah, I will be opening a YouTube channel. Eh, I already I will post this content there. Later on, and then like just like any other YouTubers, like that, please subscribe and like to do it. Please like and subscribe. <laughs> yeah, like apa ya? Baca ada pro dengan student. Sama ni, Zulfika, Zulfika, wah baca ada channel sendiri ke? Like and subscribe. <laughs> tekan lonceng ya. Eh? Okay, jadi tekan lonceng. Oh, ini banyak YouTuber pro dengan sendiri. <laughs> so we have a lot of pro YouTubers here. Ah, uh, okay, yeah. Uh, uh, if you think that you missed something, yeah, we, I will share this one online on YouTube. So yeah, macam yang cakap, please like us. We tak gaya lah. Just for I'm just following by supervisor, by supervisor in UTM. They said this is like now. I'm doing like this. Uh, maybe I'll just mirror what he's doing, so that yeah, we can uh, show uh, what so that everybody nobody is missing out, eh? Okay, so enough with the introduction. Okay, enough with introduction. So right now, let me see, just see our participants. How many we have now? Mana pergi participants ada lupa lah saya. Tadi senang je nampak participants. But yeah, whatever. So I will share. I will start to share the file lah now. Okay. Maybe we go a bit on. A bit on the, our what you call revision, eh? A bit of revision uh, for this class. Uh, so kita pergi tengok sikit uh, revision mana revision lah hari tu this one lah. Examples, uh, yeah, this one. Okay, continue. Okay, so yeah, I'm opening a PowerPoint slide now. Okay, it's uh, it takes a bit of time to load. Eh? Okay, so everybody can see this. Mana pa? This one. Okay, good. Eh, seorang yang jawab semua. Okay, boleh. Okay, ada wakil lah. Okay. Jawab sudah. Okay, oh, ambil lah saya punya chat ni full kan yes lepas ni kan. Betul je. <laughs> uh, okay. So, yeah. On DC machine eh. On DC. Uh, better for, I don't know whether I for, better for me to show this or. Okay. So, it's a bit of a revision from what we have been doing so far. And how do I use this? Uh, lecture. Okay. And it's not. It's not macam mana? Okay, oh pergi sini kah? Okay, next page. Oh macam ni, okay. So, a bit of introduction to DC machine. So, in my, uh, so as you know, the uh, DC machine is the, is uh, actually the same machine. Eh? Okay, whether you call it as a generator or whether you call it as a motor, they are actually the same thing. Okay, the same uh, the same machine, no separate one. So they are defined by what they output, eh? What the input and output. Okay, so you if you input electrical energy, and the output is mechanical energy, that is a motor. Okay, and then if you input mechanical energy to produce electrical energy, then what to generate 
I will won't call it as produce, eh, but generate lah. Okay, generate electrical energy. That one what uh, is what we call as a generator. And this, uh, like I said before in our class, it's the same machine. Okay, it's the same machine. And then uh, this is a uh, what what we call that the uh, equations, eh? equations for an ideal. Okay, an ideal lossless electric motor where the power. Eh? Okay, the power, I think you know this equation, P equal to IV or VI, whatever, sama, okay, it's the same, uh, VI, and for motor, okay, kita T, this is, uh, I think this is the torque, eh? and this one is the uh, omega M, which is the RPM, this is the speed, this one is the angular speed, eh? it's uh, the, usually denoted as omega, this one, uh, this symbol is usually, it's a standard, Standard being used for a lot of uh, a lot of equations. Called if you see omega, usually it denotes the what you call that rotational speed. Eh? Somebody want to speak something? <laughs> yeah. So and it, and it's equal to the power, the mechanical power, the electric. So uh, power will be constant eh? in terms of when they say lossless, the electrical power you input okay into into the motor. Okay, you will actually get the equal okay, figure for power, mechanical power, okay, if it's losses. But that one is ideal. Okay, usually in real life, there are other losses like sound, uh, like uh, it, the energy loss in terms of, uh, like in the form of sound, okay, in the form of uh, friction and everything. Usually, this is not the case, but ideally, this is the equation. So, the machine's magnetic field is the medium. Yeah, magnetic field in the motor is the medium of energy conversion. Yeah. So this one is just um uh, the thing that you should know lah. Okay, the torque okay, for for motor uh, when we're talking about motor or generator. Okay, doesn't matter if it's DC or AC. Yeah. So these are the things that you need to know. It's torque. Okay, torque usually is denoted by T. Sometimes uh, there it's also denoted by the, the Greek or whatever the one symbol tau. Eh? Tau, you know tau, right? Um, uh, lama. Right now I don't know how to denote this. Macam mana nak conteng sekarang? Kalau pakai ni? <laughs> uh, view. Uh, pada ni. Uh, uh, how to denote this? Uh, jam, ah? Bagus saya share screen tadi. Screen tadi senang sikit nak share. Nak pakai denote kan? Uh, the... Uh, let me show sure, everything control. Ini kah? Ah, this one, this one. Sorry. Okay, this one. Okay. So it's either T or sometimes it's um. Uh, the uh, D note. Why is it this one? Okay. Okay. In the ini symbol tau ah. Okay. Mana pak? Kita nampak ke pakai kalau lain, pakai kalau merah, merah. Okay, tau. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. So, yeah, like, like I said, we are learning as we go. Ah, uh, saya pun baru-baru pakai dia. So this one is, ah, uh, selalu uh, ada pakai it's uh, what we call as a um, tau, yeah, the symbol tau. Okay, so you can, ah, uh, so it denotes the same thing, ah, uh, talk. Okay, so the walaupun dia terlibat banyak sini, ah, uh, force, the produce rotation or excess. Uh, actually, what you need to know about tau, ah, uh, talk, ah, uh, talk is the ability of a machine ability of a machine or not just a machine lah. okay what in this case we are talking about machine the ability to move something okay the ability of a machine to move something the higher the ability of that machine to move another object means its torque is higher okay lower torques mean lower ability to move something Okay, so you will see about this later on, tap, huh? okay, but in simple terms, huh? simple terms, tau or torque here, torque is the ability of a machine to move an object. Okay, so if you are talking about uh, torque in a car, contohnya, okay, if you are talking about uh, torque in a car, so not necessarily uh, motor, huh? kalau pakai engine pun, okay, kereta biasa pakai engine. So, we need an engine, right, to move the car. So we need first we we move the car we need to use a lower gear okay because lower gear usually it has a low rpm but at low rpm it has a higher torque 
Okay, this is standard ah for car, macam gear. Okay, kalau if we, for gear one, it is low speed but it has a higher torque. But and at high speed, gear five contohnya. Eh? Okay, for example gear five, it has a higher speed but lower torque. Okay, so if a car, okay, if we are talking about a car, we start from a stationary position. Okay, the car is stopped. We want to start moving the car. We need a higher torque. So that's why you never start your car with gear five, right? Okay, even if you apply gear five, your car will not move because at gear five the RPM is high, but the torque is low. Yeah, so that's why we start with gear one, gear one which has a lower RPM but it has a higher torque. So please uh, don't be confused with this by this because. Selalunya uh, people say if a higher RPM than higher torque, usually they are reverse. Okay, they are reverse like that. Okay, so the the higher, uh, so saya padam dulu ah, so saya padam ni, eh padam, oh macam ni padam ah. Okay, okay, so so usually the uh, so the relation is like this. So saya conteng kat sini ah, sini sini ah. <laughs> okay, pada jawab salah. Okay, so usually the relationship is uh, something like this. So for uh, ini graph lah, graph lah, contoh graph. Okay, so this one is for torque. Okay, this one is for speed. Eh, salah. Okay, ni omega dulu. Okay, for rotational speed. The higher the speed the lower the torque. So, selalunya the relationship is something like this one lah. Okay, macam ni. Okay. The faster your motor spins, the lower it torques become. Okay. So, usually at higher speed, motor or generator are used to sustain a movement. Okay. So, maintain a movement. So, that's why a higher torque is not required. At lower speed, motor or generator are used to initiate a movement. So that's why a higher torque is needed. Okay. So yeah, that that enough about torque. So simply said, simply in layman terms, simply if, if for if for you to easy for you to remember it easily, torque is the ability to move object. Okay, torque. And then we have flux. Huh? We talk about flux is a magnetic field. Okay, magnetic field which is established around the magnet because there is a magnet over there. There is a flux. Stand up. Okay, if there is a magnet, there is a flux. But at the same time, if there is a moving current, okay, this if there is a moving current, there will also be a magnetic field based on this one, right? Left hand. Okay, based on our the camera said, okay, based this one, left hand, or even this one, this this one, the uh, right hand yang screw ni. If your current moving that way, there will be uh, what I call that the magnetic field this way, right? So using that, when there's a current flow of current, there will be a magnetic field, and when there is a magnetic field, there will be flux. Okay. There will be flux. Okay, so easily said, if there's a magnet, if there's a magnet, there's a flux. Okay, the field is represented by flux lines, lah. Okay, this one, I think, yeah, I think you know about this already. And then there's a magnetic field. Okay, the symbol is B. Eh? Jangan B A bukan bukan B dash A eh? dash A bukan. This one, the symbol of magnetic field is B. Okay, and usually this is standard. There's a region of space that surrounds a moving electrical charge or magnetic pole. See. Eh? Okay, in which the electrical charge or magnetic pole is a force that is above the electrostatic ones associated with particles at rest. Okay, ini don't bother. Ini don't bother to untuk hafal hafal belanda ni. As long as you know what what they are, it's okay. Okay, tak ada dalam soalan exam nanti dia apa dia magnetic field? No, tak ada. <laughs> there, there will be no such question. Okay, that is too easy. Okay. Uh, moving on. So the voltage in any real machine will depends on these three factors. Okay, all three are important. So the flux in the machine that means the stronger the magnet, okay, then the stronger the machine. Okay, simply said, okay, 
that is the rule of thumb. So that that's why, okay, uh, a big and then big magnet is stronger than small magnets. Okay, <laughs> so yeah, the stronger the flux, okay, then the stronger the machine, and then the speed of rotation, the faster, okay, more the faster the rotation is means if in a motor. Yeah. In a generator, contohnya, the faster the rotation means more current. Okay, more current will be generated, and yeah. there will be more higher potential difference. Okay, and then a constant representing the construction of the machine construction also yeah play a role that here. Okay, so I think in the previous lecture we have seen the yang motor apa shan motor yang apa tu yang ada apa nama separately excited apa semua tu kan? But yeah, don't worry, we'll look at into that after this as a revision. Okay, so I think this one needs uh, no no longer needs a proper introduction, right? This one uh, you know why how why the why and the how a motor works, right? With the left hand Fleming. Okay, so I will just skip this. So then also this one also the same. Tak payah tengok. We you know this already. The Fleming still uh, the Fleming there. Yeah? The magnet go from north to south, and then there's a rod carbon, and here is where the connection of positive and negative, where the current flows. Okay, because there if there is no flow of current, there will be no magnetic lah. Okay. Uh, okay, ya yeah, betul. So and then this is a uh, construction lah contoh ah. Okay, the this is the contoh in the. It, Usually this thing is in an in an enclosure like that, right? You cannot see inside, but inside it's yeah something like this. Okay, where this is the rotor, this is spring, and then the rotor brush here, uh, the brush holder here, and here are the brush over there, and the magnet is in the middle lah. Okay, and here. Yeah, so ini contoh apa nama cut away view of a DC motor ah this one. Okay, ini tahu ya tengok lama lama. Jangan tunggu lama-lama aja, -lama, contoh kan? Okay, so this one also the starter with the visible poles here. Yeah? yeah, the poles. Okay. <coughs> Actually, poles lah kita cuma perlu satu saja for a motor to work. Okay, but one pole is a waste of space. Okay, one pole is a waste of space. So that's why usually a motor has a lot of Pulse to maximize, okay, its potential, okay. Don't, okay, don't think that pernah ada dua atau tiga pole, empat pole, lima pole. No, okay. Usually one is enough, okay. One is enough for a for a motor or a generator to work. One is enough, but it's a waste of space. So that's why they space it up, okay. They space them like this one, okay. So that the motor will have more poles and the potential of the motor can be higher, okay. To actually, usually it's uh, used to. Jangan membazir lah, <laughs> okay? So again, ini pun uh, kita tengok ni. Ini pun kita tengok lagi tu kan? Okay, this one we already seen this one. The construction of motor. Here we have uh, <coughs> the brush. Okay, here are the brush inside, and they are not touching. Eh? They are not touching. Okay, because kalau they touch, then the current will flow. Okay, through the brush. Through the brush is. That is not what we call as a um, conversion, eh? Not we call it, that is just normal current flowing. So that will be that is uh, considered as a short. Okay, so they are not touching. Okay, and then the, um, what else we have here? Yang penting ini dia uh, the pole, pole shoe here. Where is the the, the magnet? Eh? But the magnet also not touching because the thing need to spin in between. Okay, not touching, and the magnetic fields go this way. So this is ah, dia punya coil tu. Yang anak panah ni hari tu macam mana? Saya dah lupa. Anak panah pergi ke dalam kan? Anak panah pergi dalam. Yang dot ni pergi keluar. Okay. So I think you know the construction of this already. So tak apa. And ah, yeah, this is the ah kita yang kita punya apa punya tu? Explanation on it. Because this is just a revision, so I will not go through this one in detail too much. Okay, so tapa this one also. Tapa don't worry too much, but I will share. I will share the slide later on. Okay. But any on construction, eh? But this one we should have covered it before. 
is already covered in the previous week. But I think this class is cursed uh, a bit because kita ada class hari Senin uh, and then selalu cuti hari Senin. Even this week dah lah PKP kan. Uh, PKP pun cuti juga hari Senin lah. <laughs> so <laughs> we all always missing. Uh, we'll miss the class on Monday. Huh? So saya pula nampak macam malas mengajar pula sebab so, banyak sangat kelas tak ada. <laughs> okay, tak apa. Can we go back here? So... Uh, ini the, the operation lah, the basic theory here, and this is the shaft tadi. It's, it depends lah, kalau if you are talking about a generator, then you need to spin this manually. Yeah? But if you are talking about a motor, then you need to supply current lah. You need to supply current. So, dia jadi macam ni lah. Okay, dia, so, here, you looking it from this side. Okay, looking it from, from this side of thing. Okay, uh, pen tools okay looking at from here your eyes here tengok eh, eh, eh salah okay mata dekat sini okay mata ni okay you are looking at from here ah huh? there okay tengok sana okay lebih kurang buruk ah lukisan betul lah saya punya prof suruh pakai ini pakai iPad dia kata pakai supaya senang pakai pen semua supaya cantik sikit lukisan lah sebab mouse tak cantik eh <laughs> but uh, you know the drill right okay looking from here so it becomes something like this you see so current living away from the uh, from the apa ni uh, from you okay this one betul lah tadi current pergi ke pergi ke sana ke dalam and this one is current coming towards and this is the magnetic field eh Okay, magnetic field here, and here is the spinning rotate uh, the, the rotation. They punya center, center of rotation. So in any so direction. Okay, by the left hand rule is the thumb of the current. Again, this is the Fleming left hand rule. The forefinger is the magnetic field, and uh, the rest finger is the force. Ah, eh? this one. Okay, so uh, looking at the this figure, so the force will be going this way okay actually this way sebenarnya this way so that that's why you are, you are going to see that it spins like this one ah macam tu macam cantik punya okay it spins like that okay as it changes direction okay as the force changes direction it spins like that depending on the uh, center of rotation lah okay so in a dc motor the stator poles are supplied by a dc excitation Yeah, excitation current which produce a DC magnetic field. So for a motor, yeah, motor. So you need to supply current, and the rotor is a uh, is supplied by a DC current through the brushes. Yeah, through the brushes here, uh, commutator and coils. The interaction of the magnetic fields and rotor current generates a force that drives the motor. Okay, here to look at it in more detail. <coughs> no need to explain this further. Okay. So, tak apa. Kita, kemudian lah. But as I, I said pre previously in our class, that selalunya dia bukan lekuk satu je. So, dia buat banyak-banyak banyak lekuk. Okay. So, that the potential of the uh, the machine is increase. Eh? Okay. So, this one the same. So, tak apa. And why are we going back here? Same thing. Okay. Like I said, this one is just, uh, what do you call that? Uh, revision. Okay. Eh? Revision and oh, why is it again going here? <coughs> so next there will be a DC machine equivalent circuit. I think this one did we go here last time? I don't remember. Have we gone through this one? Equivalent circuit? Anybody? Have we gone through here yet? Or you don't remember? Itulah saya, saya pun lupa. <laughs> Jangan kamu kan, saya pun lupa. So, <laughs> okay, yeah, don't worry. Kamu tunggu soalan je kan, yang dah lupa, don't remember ni. I think you are just you're waiting for the question ni. Dah bagi. <laughs> mana soalan exam ni, mana soalan test ni. <laughs> That's why I'm asking, okay, this one. This uh, this uh, equivalent circuit. I don't remember whether we go, we have went, uh, we have gone through this one or not yet. But yeah, it's okay. Tak apa. So the magnetic field produces a stator pulse today induced by a voltage rotor or armature coils when the generator is rotated. Then this induced a voltage. Eh? This induced voltage is represented by a voltage source. 
So the stator coil has resistance, okay, which is connected in series. Okay, inilah antara benda yang menyebabkan dia tak jadi ideal ya. There is a resistance connected in series, and then the pole flux is produced by the DC excitation or field current tadi, which is magnetically coupled to the rotor. So the field circuit has resistance and a source. So the voltage drop of the brushes represented by a battery. So so the equivalent equivalent circuit for DC machine tadi, motor tadi, they are different lah based on the the what they call that the build. Okay, based on the type and build of the motor. So there are types of DC motor here. Ini kita dah tengok kan. Yang separately excited DC motor, shunt DC motor, permanent magnet uh, PM uh, PMMC. Okay, permanent magnet uh, PM uh, apa namanya moving coil lah PMMC moving coil lah DC motor the series DC motor and then compounded DC motor depends depending on the these types. Okay, we we'll look at it and then dah kan that's why I say ada. Okay, so first uh, PMMC permanent magnet moving coils. Okay, the poles are made of permanent magnets and no feel or winding required. It is small in size. So the advantage, the disadvantage is a low flux density, so low torque. Because the low flux density, because they are usually small size. Then you can again, the big magnet will produce big flux. Smaller magnet, small flux. So that's why, it, because it is small in size, it has a low flux density. So it also has a low torque. So here is the equivalent circuit lah. Okay, I don't macam mana nak zoom ke sini, saya tak tahu. Pakai sini, kalau pakai slide biasa tahu macam mana nak zoom kan. Okay, so, um, what is this? Tak tahu. Okay, so here is the equivalent circuit for a separately excited motor. The field flux is derived from a separate power source, independent of the generator itself. Okay, and then, I, that's why I think we have already seen this. And then a self-excited motor, the, the field flux is derived by the connect, by connecting the field directly across the terminals of the generator and uh, this one is self excited the machine and fields are connected in series with the armature even uh, you don't have to worry too much about it uh. there is no question asking about ni motor ni macam motor ni macam mana so far uh, this kind of question never been asked before. This is just uh, for your information so that you know what type of machines are there out there. So, just a compound DC motor, both a shunt and a series field are present. This one also we have looked before. And then so <coughs> self excited, cumulatively compounded is like this. And then differentially compounded is like this. So, it's uh, the difference in the configuration a bit. Lah. Okay. And then. Uh, So here, equivalent circuit of a DC motor. This one in talking in general. Okay? In general, this is the equivalent circuit for a DC motor. So the armature is represented by an ideal voltage source, EA, and a resistor, RA. Means, mana dia? RA, EA, RA. Sini, this one. Okay. So the brush voltage drop is represented by a small battery V here, V brush, which is this one, opposing the direction of the current flow of the in the machine. Okay, and then the field coil, okay, which produce the magnetic flux, are represented by inductor, this one, LF and RF. Here is are the here these two represent the field coils. Huh? This one are the coils. Yeah, ini tadi yang ni armature. Huh? This is the armature, and this will be the brush. Okay, just so you know why and what are these things. Macam mana dia kira? Okay, they are transformed. The transform in this way to make calculations easier. Okay, tak nampak mouse pointer. Okay, okay. Kena tak nampak mouse pointer. Saya pun tak apa nampak. So, okay, tak apa. Saya annotate lah. Okay, so pen tu, pen, pen tu lah. Pen, 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 eh, pencil, pencil. Okay. So, again, armature. Armature is represented by an ideal voltage source, EA and resistor RA, which is this one. This one, resistor RA. 
this one, sorry. Okay, this one and this one. These are the amateur. Okay, kita tulis ini warna merah are amateur. Okay, and then we have the second one, the brush. Okay, the brush, which is this one. Yeah, the brush uh, is represented by this. This one, kita tulis as brush. Warna biru. Okay, brush. And then we have the fill coils. Okay, the coil. Huh? The coils are represented by, uh, color apa lagi ada ni? Color kuning, uh, hijau, uh, purple lah. Okay, this one. Okay, and then the um, E, apa ni? Pencil tool, okay. This one. This represents the, uh, apa ni? Tadi. Coils, okay. Yang current masuk keluar tadi, yang anak panah tadi, yang masuk keluar, masuk keluar tu. Ah, yang itu, this one. Okay, represented by this. This is the inductor LF and RF. Okay, so the separate resistor are adjustable here. Okay, are uh, an external variable resistor used to control the amount of current. This one, uh, ambil lagi satu. Okay, this is external. Okay, this that's why it's not connected there. External, external, alma, component. Okay, external component. Okay, this one, the green one. It's an external component to control the amount of current in the field skin. Means, usually, low amount of current, lower speed. Higher amount of current, higher speed. Okay, so to control the speed of the motor, we need an external component. Okay, because if there's a no, no control, then the current just go in. Okay, like you on the switch, all the current go in and it will spin at a, at a constant, right? At a constant uh, speed. Okay, speed dia tak berubah. But just imagine you want to use a motor in your car, for example. Okay, in an electric car or in a, uh, what do you call that, hybrid car. So you don't want your car to go in a constant speed, right? <laughs> okay. Even in a normal car, you don't want your car to go always go fast or always go slow. Only that's it. Okay, tak boleh kan? So in order for to control the output of the motor, that we put here an external component in the form of this one, a, adjustable resistor. Okay, res, uh, apa? Selalu kita pakai apa? Adjust. Uh, ada nama dia lupa saya. Okay, adjustable resistor. You know right? Okay, okay to. Deep, uh, to control the amount of current going in so that we co can control the speed of the motor. Okay, rule of thumb is the more current, more speed. That's it. And ini tak ada kaitan dengan torque. Eh? This one has no uh, relation to torque. This is just current and speed only. Current and speed only means more current, more speed. Okay, lower current, lower speed. Okay, that's it. So that's why. Okay, so here, yeah, so this is the, what do you call that? Ni tadi saya tukar. So this whole thing, eh, okay, is the equivalent circuit for a DC machine. Okay, any calculation nanti, if you are asked to calculate, okay, to do a calculation on DC machine, you will be using this lah, eh, yeah, this circuit. So tapa contoh dan nanti kita tengok. Okay, we will see all the examples later on. Okay, so moving on. So the brush drop voltage is often only very tiny fractions of the generated voltage in the motor. Okay, usually the, the brush tadi, uh, like this one lah. This one tadi is usually very small. The amount is very small. Okay. <clears throat> so therefore, in cases where it is not critical, okay, it's just in the the matter of just a simple calculation, usually kita, we just ignore it. Yeah, we just ignore it. So the so it is ignored, and therefore in cases where it is not critical, so the brush drop voltage may be left out or approximately included. Okay, masuk dalam sini. Okay, the value of RA resistance. Yeah, sini tadi apa tadi? Amateur tadi ya. Eh? 
this one uh, the armature resistance ah huh? which is ah uh, kena sekali lagi tulis here oh besar salah sorry <laughs> to okay ah uh, this is the armature resistance here yang tadi yang asal asal kat sini tu kan yang voltage drop tadi ah uh, v brush tadi okay v brush cina brush brush ah uh, big kecil tu okay is included in here or either it's included there or just yeah all together being ignored because usually it's very small okay it's just to represent the brush okay and the brush usually it's not intended to you know what do you call that uh it's not that it's it's not important okay the brush is important okay still the brush is very important in a motor not that it's useless okay but it's there to help the operation of the motor but not to interfere with the input and output okay input and output of the motor or generator eh it's for a construction reason eh the build okay so that's why usually the voltage drop at the brush can be ignored okay eh? or included in this one and there also the internal resistance of the field coil Okay, this one is sometimes lumped together with the variable resistor. Okay, so that the total is called the RF now. Okay, so this one, saya tukar color. This one, tadi ada yang dekat luar tadi kan? Yang this one tadi yang uh, external tadi. The external. Now it goes inside. Okay, to include it into the calculation. So now this coil, okay, this fill, what you call fill coil, right? Okay, become a variable. Okay, this one become a variable. So this is the new one. Okay, the new the we are talking about equivalent circuit now, right? So the first circuit, this circuit transform into this one. Okay, into this circuit. Yeah. It is called a simplified lah, simplified equivalent circuit, eliminating the brush voltage and the apa ni combining the R adjustable with the resistance of the coil. So the equivalent circuit of a separately excited DC motor from this figure. Okay, from this figure tadi lah. Ini tadi still sama, eh? but this one. You see the macam apa nampak macam ada dua biji ni. Apa salah dua biji ni? It's actually this one tadi because this one is combination tadi ya. Eh? This one combination, so it still can be separated like this lah because this one already put in tadi. So we just separate it to the smaller one here. Okay. Ah, uh, they are lumped together lah. Yeah, like this. So still lump together. Don't be confused. So this is the equivalent circuit for the this figure, I F, which is this one. Nah, F saya tanpa sini. This one. Okay. This is on the output side, ah. The output side. The input side is here. This is, ah, this is output lah. Because we are talking about here is in. Okay, so this part is in, okay, input because the current you excite the volt, excite it here. You supply the current on this, on this side, supply current, okay, here, over there. So this this part is input. This part is output. The second one, and this that's why the pakai the F, okay. I F V F L F all this because they're force, okay? They're force the output of the motor, okay? So the equivalent circuit for this separately excited DC motor from the figure above is I F equal to V F over R F, okay? V F over R F which is this one, the voltage here, the potential difference, okay? The potential difference of this one. Here and RF here, okay. And 
in this case vt okay this vt here okay is equal to ea plus iara ia ra and uh, il current current il here is equal to ia because it's on the same root yeah sepatutnya samalah okay because it's in uh the manga is in series okay so kalau it's in series then and eh, jump sepatut dia dia sama lain okay sama yeah betul okay so that's why il is equal to ia yeah, yeah this one tadi siapa dia sir bukan external component separate ke dengan sekali yes yes this one is separate okay that's why i said jangan confuse this one tadi this is explain here okay that one the r tadi explain here okay where originally it is external okay it is external but to ini nak kira susah okay to make a calculation this one is kind of confusing because this one is outside okay we want to include it because the uh, current control is important okay the amount of current control current control is important so we include it into the rf here so that's why the circuit is become like this okay although this one is did it's combined but for this purpose of calculation dia letak macam ni there as means this is still one they kira consider as one resistor okay one resistor with an adjustable element but the rf tadi is still uh well constant yang berubah value just adjustable right okay because this one saja yang boleh tukar this one is in Internal inside the motor, it's still the same. So that's why instead of R R sini R F, dia masuk sini kan R F kan, dia masuk. We this one can still change. R adjustable can still change. Okay, what important here is R F, the final value. How much you ex, how much you change in the adjustable plus plus the one here plus the one in the R this one rf here okay that will be the final value because this one is still the same right okay so that's why it is just although it originally it's external but now kita masukkan the for the sake of calculation okay don't be confused <laughs> it's still external okay it's still external don't worry okay So tadi separately excited eh separately excited you this one the current the current source is from the outside for shunt DC motors okay although this one is still the same this one tadi yang uh, excited separately excited eh IF VF RF sama IF is equal to VF over RF dia sama still the same yeah but dia punya ni a bit different Okay, based on dia punya this one, the new this one is shan motor. Okay, shan motor punya equivalent circuit. As you can see, the build is a bit different. Where the 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 current is not supplied from outside. Okay, it supply its own current. Okay, so now IF is equal to VF over RF. But now the VT is equal to EA plus. I A R A and I L is not just I L equal to I A but now it's I A plus I F okay, because they are all together in one motor although this one uh, do note that again eh, I don't I think I, I don't have to remind you this one is still external eh? remember that this one just masuk sini for the sake of calculation this one is still external okay what what matters is this one rf okay what matters is still this rf so because this one is they are not separately excited it's a shan motor it produce its own current so everything is in one unit that are external <coughs> no external source okay so that's why now the equation change a bit okay 
change a bit. So please do know that what kind of motor that we're talking about because the equation do differ a bit. Okay, the equation do differ a bit. Okay. So for top equation, okay, it's either this or top lah. Okay, top equation. Saya selalunya suka pakai tau, but yeah. This note dia pakai T. So, kita pakai T lah. Okay. So, the equation for torque is, <coughs> torque is, uh, the unit is a uh, Newton meter. Eh? Newton dash meter. Bukan Newton tolak meter. Newton darab dengan meter. <laughs> dia selalu je kita, ni tak ada. Tapi, but yeah, whatever. Dia boleh pakai Newton meter. Eh? Dia bukan Newton tolak meter or whatever. It is Newton and meter. So, the unit for torque is newton meter. It is produced by the geometry. Ka is the geometry constant. Okay, usually these are depending on the motor. The geometry constant are different. Okay, so usually this one we get it from the manufacturer's data lah. This one. And then the amount of flux. The amount of flux. See the flux ah, flux per pole here. The unit is Weber. Okay, Weber and darab dengan Amateur current. Okay, this one. Yang IA, this one. Okay, this IA. We're talking about this IA lah. Okay. So, this is how you measure torque. Okay. No worry. Apa? Nanti ada calculation. Kita Contoh nanti kita bagi. Okay, we, we do some exercise on this one. Okay. So, the geometry constant. Okay, the geometry constant here. Means, okay, it is uh, using this, uh, uh, what do you call that? Uh, apa dia? Pulse, dia punya equation. In radian per second, okay, radian per second, dia ada dua unit lah, uh, ni, uh, this KA, dia ada, ni ada sikit, ada beza ni. Okay, the one that we usually care is this one. Okay, is this one? Because they are in RPM. Alah, buruknya tulisan. Ini tak tak tu. Okay, it's in. Okay, ini ada ada garis cantik sih ya. Cepat. Eh, cek lurus di garisan. Okay. So <laughs> this one we use it in RPM. Okay, kita kita selalunya kita ini lebih penting lah. Kita selalu. But yeah, KA we got it from the PN here. Okay, from P is the number of field poles. Ada berapa? Dari cerita dari poles is satu dah cukup. Yeah. If it's one, then one lah. Satu dah cukup boleh jalan. Because if there's no pole, then the whole thing will become zero, right? Pole becomes zero, so doesn't make a motor. <laughs> so pole satu pun dah cukup. But in many in a lot of cases nowadays, there's usually a lot of more poles. Okay, not just one. So that's why they, they noted here as P. So it depends on the number of poles, then it will be different. Yeah, and then we have N. N is the number of active conductors on the armature. Okay, and then we have over 2 pi. 2 pi is, uh, because this one is radian. Uh, radian 2 pi means a uh, complete circle. Pi is half circle, right? 2 pi is full circle. Okay, one, so that's why the letter is 2 pi. If you're wondering why it's 2 pi. Okay, it's a, uh, kita kira in rotation. So one complete rotation is... 2 pi. Ada ada dengar bunyi di luar. Ada bunyi, excuse me saya tanya ada bunyi lain tak? Ada bunyi sebab anak saya nangis dekat luar. Okey bagus. Okey tak ada dengar maksudnya pintu saya secure lah. <laughs> Okey. So uh, 2 pi is one rotation. Uh, 2 pi and then this times m eh, bahagilah kalau if, if in this case kita bagi p darab n bahagi dengan 2 pi divide by 2 pi and divide by m right divide by m so number of parallel paths in amateur winding okay so it's equal to p for lap winding and it is equal to p for lap winding and equal to 2 for wave winding so de again depends on the build okay depends on the build of the thing okay of the motor okay so for rpm it's calculated as Okay, P and because it is, uh, dia 60 because uh, 
sini second ini minutes <laughs> dia pergi 60 jadi 60 minutes in a second right eh 60 seconds in a minute right so this why dia tukar jadi 60 here if you are drink okay if you are drink why tiba-tiba ada 60 kat sini kan where they come from adakah 2 pi equal to 60 no it doesn't okay it's because we are now we are counting in minutes okay how many revolution this one is not radian not Rotation, we selalu panggil revolution ah. Kita panggil revolution per minute. Okay, revolution per minute, per minute. Okay, eh salah. Per minute. Okay, at least that is how that is why I learn. Okay, revolution per minute is RPM. Okay, this one. Kita okay, sini. Okay, revolution per minute. Yeah. Selalunya yang penting dalam motor dia maksudnya inilah kita kira RPM. Even if you are driving your car pun, tengok dekat tachometer tu kan, dekat depan tu, your dashboard meter, there is a RPM calculation. Selalunya itu satu, dua darab dengan seribu eh, kalau kereta. Because usually it is in the, the thousands of RPM per, uh, thousands of RPM lah, revolutions per minute. Yeah. So the power equation is like this. It's simpler actually. The power is equal to EIA or T, T omega. Okay. And this is, of course, in the, inilah, in the ideal case. If you are not counting any losses, just in the calculations of maths, right? We don't know the losses in how many energy lost through sound, how many energy lost through friction. If you have all those data, then okay. Kalau tak ada, then we just use this. But do know that this one is only ideal. Okay. So the power, not counting the losses. In what? Eh? Calculation of power is what? And equal to EIA, where E is the EMF induced in armature. Okay. Sebenarnya E, ini P sama. The calculation ni, uh, the rumors tak tukar. P equal to IV, right? Okay. This is still IV because this one is still voltage. Okay. EM, EMF induced in the armature in voltage, in volts, berapa volts. And then IA, armature, current. Because tadi in the earlier slides, alamak saya tak tahu, saya, 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 I don't want to go back banyak slide tadi. The input power if in ideal cases, will be equal to the output power, right? Okay, so you can take this, okay, this red one, the red one as the elect, eh, bukan ni, eh, salah. Okay, the electrical power, okay, and the blue one as the mechanical power. Okay, you can simply think about it like that. Okay, if we are talking about what you call it, tadi, apa tadi? Ideal situation. How much you input power, you input electrically, okay, based on calculation of current and voltage tadi, you will get an equivalent amount of power in mechanical. In terms of mechanical power, you, can, we will get, you will get okay, equivalent amount. Okay, so this, the red one is electrical power, the blue one is mechanical power. Okay, that is how, if you want to look at this equation in the simple terms. Okay, so on the mechanical side, the power is calculated by using the torque, how much torque okay, the motor is producing and how, and the speed. Okay, and the speed of the thing. So that's why I said. Remember, uh, remember what, when what I said earlier. Okay, on the re relationship of motor and torque. Eh, motor and torque. Salah. Okay, the torque and speed. Three. Okay, remember back when I told you about the relationship. Oh, there's any space to ask it. I'm looking Okay. So here is the torque. Okay. Here is Okay, ah, cantik sikit. Ah, okay. Speed. Okay, rotational speed. Eh? RPM. Ini selalu RPM lah. Okay. Usually, they are, they have this kind of, ah, this kind of, uh, what do you call that? Relationship. Okay, and, and please do note, eh? I don't uh, touch it from zero here. Zero speed, how many? Because that one is a, what do you call that? Uh, discussion in a, 
totally different topic because engine and then motor they have a different characteristic okay different characteristics so i will not go to this zero first just but i'm talking about in general here in general this is the relationship of torque and speed okay and this further proof that the equation here the power equation in blue here yeah higher torque okay the because the power power is constant okay power is fixed in this case for power to be fixed if you increase okay the speed of the motor the torque has no way to go to go but down right okay this one goes up speed goes up torque will go down that mathematically that is how it maintains power okay so that's why you need to remember higher speed doesn't mean higher torque okay because if that is true then the equation doesn't make sense means you increase the speed and then the torque also increase then the power will also increase which is which doesn't make sense right okay which doesn't make sense power and or energy in this case usually it's a fixed value you cannot just create energy from thin air from nothing you cannot create it from nothing okay it must come from somewhere and from this somewhere this is uh, talking about the law of conservation of energy eh? okay power or energy cannot be created or destroyed it just changes form right so power cannot come from out of nowhere so usually this is fixed so that's why when you increase the speed of your motor or your generator usually the torque goes down so that this equation will make sense okay the same with this one if you increase the voltage when the power is constant current will become lower so this is how transformer works eh? transformer yang yeah the one in the distribution okay why they increase the transformer the voltage the voltage for using a transformer to several kilovolt right yeah because i is involved current is involved in the calculation for power loss but voltage is not okay yeah, based on the p equal to i square r so it's another the calculation for voltage so they, they increase the amount of voltage and the, the value of voltage but they decrease the current so that they will become there will be less loss okay like this one when the speed goes up torque goes down okay so this is the equation for power okay so not that the power in this is talking about the generator and so this is talking about motor so power in is in the form of uh, uh electric power lah, which will be higher than power out usually this is real life okay there is no ideal motor in this world okay it's just how much efficiency we have the higher efficiency the closer this p in and p will be okay higher efficiency lower efficiency these two values will be further apart okay there which means there will be higher loss okay so uh, p in power going into the motor will be higher than the power we output because of losses in the field and amateur winding as well as the friction okay the emf equation is like this okay the emf equation is uh e here tadi yeah it, this e eh, is this one eh? the one the e we, we use here and also that uh one of the e yang kita, we use here tadi amateur tadi okay this one eh? okay so this e okay equal to uh, again the geometry constant tadi the flux in weber darab dengan and then times the speed okay rotational speed in radian tadi per second or here in rpm kalau kita pakai rpm okay so where n is 60 rotation per second 
Okay, eh, per salah, per, per complete rotation, sorry. Per complete rotation. Eh, today is a bit uh, equation heavy, eh. Okay, sorry, tetap, but don't worry too much about it. Kita akan ada uh, practice lah, uh, ada exercise nanti. But maybe not today. Okay, so kita tengok dulu this one. So, terminal voltage equation VT. Okay, VT is equal to E plus I A R A. This is just one side tadi ya. Eh? The input side. Tadi yang we although jangan don't forget that we still have this one here on the output. Okay, and then sini coil kan. Okay, okay this one. Okay, don't don't forget we still have this one, but the terminal voltage is only for the input side of things. So this one kita ignore dulu lah. So the input on the terminal voltage because the VT is equal to E plus I A R A. You know what they are here. And then the speed equation at the end ray. End ray in RPM, right? Okay, in RPM. Uh, I know some other... Oh, ada quiz ke pukul 10? Bukan lecture. Okay, so uh, last slide lah. Ni last slide lah. Ada nanti orang tak dapat ambil quiz lah. <laughs> okay, so at the equation speed here is VT minus IARA per... This one in RPM ah. Huh? RPM dari KA. Uh, ini apa? V ya? Eh? Five, lupa saya, lupa nak nama dia. Okay, so so this applies to shunt character motor only, and then note that V can also be written as KF IF, where the KF is V per IF normally a constant ratio. So the this is the ratio N1 and over N2 equal to E2 over E1. So nota I will upload after the session. Yeah, don't worry. Ah, uh, but no, maybe not. Directly after this lah, saya ada kerja lain pada ni. But, saya update dulu. Nanti kita tengok. Uh, just check on ELIP. Okay. So, yeah. Ini example ada sini. So, saya akan upload this. And please refer to this example. Untuk tengok ah. So, usually this one lah. As I can say, the speed and torque. Punya relationship. Speed here, higher speed. A lower, higher... Ini terbalik lah tadi, sikit lah kan. Terbalik sikit, higher speed, lower torque. Okay, higher torque, lower speed. Uh, this is different between the motor lah. Okay, so I will upload this on ELIP later. So please check and there are indeed examples there, down there. So kalau tak faham, we can discuss it in the upcoming uh, session lah. So how about Monday, next Monday, okay boleh? Petang? Eh, pukul berapa kita kelas Monday? Pukul 12 lah. 12 ah. Okay, so uh, I will have an uh, an important meeting with the our Datuk Knight Chancellor, our Datuk NC on 2 o'clock on Monday, next Monday. <laughs> I will have an important meeting with him next Monday. So kita start pukul 12 but I uh, will end early ah. Boleh eh? Okay, but I will share again. Okay, so I will share the link like today in the new ELI page. So please everybody uh, check it there lah. Eh? So for those who, uh, uh, that's it I think for class today. Thank you for your attendance. And then jangan lupa nanti atau uh, email uh, atau nama nak, saya akan check chat lah. Saya akan check chat siapa nama yang belum attendance tadi. Okay, so uh, how to show, stop sharing this? Uh... Uh, how to stop sharing that? Okay, okay, wait, wait. So share content. Uh, uh, my Microsoft Edge. Okay. Thank you very much for your attendance, and uh, we'll meet. Uh, we'll have another session on Dila on uh, Monday. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Okay. Yeah, QR attendance there. Siapa dapat? Thank you, sir. Yeah. Okay, thank you all. Yeah, thank you all. Thank you. Thank you for the star, guys. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for the star. Yeah, thank you. Give us a thumbs up on YouTube. Nanti saya, saya upload lah. Saya tunggu dulu. Macam mana dia, saya, saya, saya tak tahu lagi macam mana dia record. I will refer to the files and I will uh, send it on YouTube lah later on. Okay? Yes, sir. Okay. So, attendance still? Tada. Kalau I will check with the chat nanti kalau siapa yang ada, saya siapa belum.
Okay, thank you again for your attendance. Uh, now I will check <laughs> the attendance. No, not safe. Uh, how to close this? Ah, oh, tutup sini ya. Ah, yes. No. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So. Ah, macam tu tadi. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. okay. So, this one is so for those who have a test today, all the best, huh?